八八八。For some final thoughts on how our brain works, we praise our brain in many ways, but that's surely because it's our brain. But we're so easily fooled by other humans and even by nature itself that we need the methods and tools of science to shield us from bias, blunder, and even delusion. If we were honest with ourselves, then, for example, books on optical illusions would really be called brain failures. The human brain may linger as the last thing in the universe we ever completely figure out. Apart from the philosophical challenge of a mind coming to understand itself, the extreme case of an experimenter interfering with the experiment, there's also the ethical challenge of how you come to know what goes on inside a living person's head. Normally, when confronted with a mysterious orb, an experimentalist pries it open, slices it, dices it, analyzes it. Chemically, physically, and biologically. Problem is, people don't normally volunteer their living brains for such studies. Our best hope today lies with the neuroscientists. What are thoughts but electrical impulses among brain cells? What are ideas but novel firings of those cells? What are mental problems, if not impulses, that have misfired? In the way that chemistry arose from the ashes of alchemy, neuroscience, a field still in its infancy, May one day subsume psychology, laying bare our inner universe, which has remained hidden for so long. And that is the cosmic perspective. And now we'd like to hear your perspective on this episode of Nova Science Now. Log on to our website and tell us what you think. You can watch any of these stories again, download additional audio and video, explore interactives, hear from experts, and watch revealing profiles from our web-only series. The Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers. Find it all at PBS.org. That's our show. We'll see you next time. See a hidden side of science on Nova's web exclusive series, where we challenge experts to explain their work in less than 30 seconds. Okay, synesthesia is a perceptual condition that involves blending of the senses. So letters can get associated with colors or tastes and shapes, that kind of thing. We think that it arises because of abnormal neural connectivity, and we care about this because we're looking at synesthesia as a model for other diseases that have been implicated in abnormal connectivity, such as autism, schizophrenia, ADD, and that kind of thing. Under time, sweet. <laughs> This Nova Science Now program is available on DVD at shoppbs.org, or call 1-800-PLAY-PBS.